like a table with legs stuffed way under it. Even the pictures don't do justice of how overwhelmingly large he truly was. I took him to our vet and he just said it's the fattest dog he'd ever seen and thought he should lose roughly 100 pounds. The previous owners had taken him in to actually put him down because he was having a hard time getting up and the vet just felt that he still had a lot of life in him. When he got to the house, it took us probably 20 minutes to get him up the three stairs into the house. I, I remember saying to the vet, like, I, I literally don't know what to do. And the vet was like, anything you do is going to help him. literally couldn't do anything. He could walk a few steps and then he'd pant and lay down. It would just bring me to tears. I remember going to the dog park at first and he'd just sit there like he'd watch everyone play and he'd just kind of look at me and I'd be like, buddy, I don't know if we'll ever get there but we're gonna try. I'm a nurse and I used to work cardiac rehab and we'll just start with the simplest thing which is walking. I walked him three times a day, no treats. His food was monitored and every day we went out. And at first he could just walk maybe five or 10 steps and then he'd stop and lay down. Then I thought maybe if I could get him in water, it would be way better just for the buoyancy and for him to be able to have full range of motion. There was little things every day that you would just think, wow, he couldn't do that before. Get that stick. One day he like licked his back legs and then sure enough, he started, you know, prancing along and his speed got faster and faster. And then he'd run or he'd jump something or he'd climb up, he clawed his way up onto the bed. It would overwhelm me. started getting a little fan club at our local dog park of people, you know, cheering him on and telling him he could do it. He's showing me how to remain positive and happy and take really big goals and just break them down into little tiny steps. Kai worked harder than any person, animal I have ever known in my life to get to where he could enjoy life again. All he wanted was to have fun and be part of a family just never gave up. People might have given up on him, but he never gave up on himself. By the time we were done, I just couldn't give him up. There was no way. I'm so proud of him. Like, comment, and subscribe.